Acute pancreatitis is a, a very nasty illness. It's an acute inflammation of the pancreas gland, uh, which is a little gland tucked in a pocket in the back of the abdomen behind the stomach, which is responsible for making insulin and also your digestive enzymes. And when it becomes inflamed, it swells hugely. So patients usually present with acute abdominal and sometimes back pain, nausea and vomiting, and it almost always requires hospitalization in the United States and in most Western countries, over 90% of pancreatitis is caused by the passage of gallstones. If you know you have gallstones, particularly if you've had attacks of pain from them, you need to get your gallbladder out because sooner or later you're going to run into a problem with pancreatitis. Obviously, if you're a heavy drinker, you put yourself in the risk group. And also, if you're a heavy smoker with that, if you smoke and drink, which is, you know, is a common combination, you can multiply your risk. Another big risk factor is if you're morbidly obese, your risk is multiplied many fold. If you have a mild dose of pancreatitis, you're typically in and out of the hospital in a few days. If you have severe pancreatitis, part of the pancreas, or sometimes all of it, dies, undergoes what we call necrosis. Nowadays, with good intensive care, we keep most people alive, but they're certainly in the hospital weeks, if not months. Pancreatitis is a very poorly understood condition and unfortunately in many places a rather poorly managed condition and particularly in terms of the early care. A large tertiary referral centre such as VCU is the, the place I would want to go if I was sick with this because I, I would live longer.